Murph. We begin tonight with an update on an accident on the Harbor Bridge during Memorial Day weekend. That accident sent a San Antonio family of four to the hospital. Thankfully, three of them are out already and recovering. However, the youngest victim, just 10 years old, remains hospitalized with serious injuries. Our Michelle Pedraza joins us now with more. Michelle? Brian, it was supposed to be a fun Memorial Day weekend, but now the family of Sophia Munson is hoping their daughter will be able to live a normal life. Warning though, the pictures in this story are graphic. The family of four from San Antonio was driving over the curb of the bridge when they came across a truck parked halfway in their lane. With no time or room to stop, they sideswiped the truck, the impact sending their vehicles spinning. Thankfully, the parents and their son were able to get out, but their 10-year-old daughter, Sophia, was knocked unconscious. She was taken to Driscoll Children's Hospital, where doctors learned that Sophia also had a stroke after the accident, which could paralyze her entire right side. The 10-year-old underwent surgery to remove half of her skull and inserts a drain to alleviate pressure in the brain, which could take three weeks. To remove all the glass, her nose is completely shattered. We're going to have to reconstruct all the, the, her nose bone. Uh, she has the floor of her eye socket broken. She has a uh, fractured lower jaw, fractured right hand. She has a fractured right femur. Know the precautions because of this incident, my daughter's life will never be the same and neither will ours. Sophia is in medical induced coma and will continue to be for the next three weeks. Their 12 year old son suffered a broken neck and a small fracture on his skull. Thankfully, the parents walked away with just cuts and bruises. The family also tells me they appreciate the outpour of support from our community and they have set up a GoFundMe page for a link to find that. You can head over to our website, Brian.